Hello class. Today we're going to talk about triangle congruence. We're going to focus today on ASA and AAS. MEI is not enough information, which we're all tempted to put down if we don't know the answer. And in this case, for not enough information, examples would be if only two sides or less have been labeled. If one side and one angle have been labeled or two sides in an angle that is not between them. If it reads SSA, that is not enough information. Notice how ASA, the side is between the two angles, but AAS, the side is not between the two angles. Before we come to any conclusion, there are things we need to focus on. We need to look for two things before we finish labeling. One thing is vertical angles. See if there's vertical angles, and if there is, label them. Then see if the triangles share a common side. If there is, label it. The common side is between the two triangles. We're going to focus on ASA, our first pair of congruent angles, our first pair of congruent sides, our second pair of congruent angles. Now, A to S to A goes in a straight line. It it all can be done on one line to trace from A to S to A, just a single line. If we have an included side, S1 in this case is the included side, that's because it is between the two angles. Here's an example. We have the angles with one tick mark, we have the angles with two tick marks, and we are reminded by the yellow box to look for a congruent side. I made it purple for you. We can mark that as S1, and it looks exactly like one of these triangles, but tilted with A, then S, then A. So therefore, the triangles are congruent, by ASA. In this second situation, this is AAS. We have our first pair of congruent angles, our second pair of congruent angles, and a pair of congruent sides. To trace from A to A to S, watch what happens. Wow. It's not one line. This time we're turning the corner. A to A to S. We rounded the corner. We went around A2 to get to S1. We had to go around A2 to get to S1. In this case, that's because S1 is a non-included side, which is not between the angles. Here's an example. We can label the first angle. We can label the first side. The yellow box tells us to look for vertical angles and label them and mark them. Can we trace AAS on both triangles? Let's see. A to A to S. A to A to S. Yes, we can. Therefore, and notice how S1 is not between A1 and A2. The triangles in this case are congruent by AAS. When is there not enough information? I talked about this yesterday, but I'm going to mention this today as well. Congruent figures have both the same size and the same shape. These two figures have three congruent angles, but they are clearly not the same size. AAA only proves similarity. 
The sides will be in proportion with each other. They have the same shape, not the same size. So there is no congruence on this one. Therefore, we can say not enough information. Even if the triangles were congruent, giving three angles would not be enough information. Here's a situation where on the left side, the left triangle, we could go from S to A to S. On the second one in green, we could go from S to S to A. However, look, between the two purple lines is the included angle, but there is no included angle between the two green sides. This angle is not included. That's why it's an SSA, which we know does not prove congruence. So this also would be an NEI because of the fact that the angle must be placed between the two sides in both of the triangles in order to be congruent by SAS. Reminder, SSA does not prove congruence in non-right triangles. However, we can show that in a right triangle, if it's an SSA, it actually would be HL congruence, which we'll show you. All right angles are congruent. Let's mark them so. We have the congruent side here, which is across from the right angle we just marked. So that congruent side is also the hypotenuse. Now, the other two sides that make up the right angle are what we call the legs. And one of the legs is actually shared by both triangles. We could call that S2. And it's also a leg. So we have hypotenuse leg congruence. Now let me show you how it also is an SSA. Go from S1 to S2 to A1. On the right, go from S1 to S2 to A1. This is hypotenuse leg congruence. We don't call it SSA. We never would do that. But I do the labeling just to show you that the A is not between the two S's, but in a right triangle, it's actually a hypotenuse and a leg when this happens. So therefore, this is an HL. Thank you for listening and please use this to do your assignment and keep up with your assignments. Stay safe.